biologist. He served in the military. If I knew what happened, I could save his life. The boundary's getting bigger, it's expanding. We're talking cities, states. You need to know what's inside. So do I. It's beautiful. Check this out. It's like they're stuck in a continuous mutation. Anything interesting in there? No. That is Natalie Portman. <laughs> I'm a chicken. <laughs> but she is back on the big screen. Science fiction thriller Annihilation creeps into theaters this weekend. It is definitely not for the faint of heart. Our film critic Eli Glasner is here to underscore that. It is certainly an ominous sounding title, though. Annihilation. What are you going to tell me about this? So this comes from director and writer Alex Garland. He had a great film a couple years ago called Ex Machina. Annihilation is based on a series of novels. We begin with Natalie Portman. She plays a doctor, actually, someone who studies cells and how they mutate. Hmm, interesting. Keep a, an, an eye on that. Now, what happens is her husband, there he is, Oscar Isaac, he's a military man, went in on a mission and then he disappeared. And when we begin, you really see that's kind of weighing heavily on her. And then he pops back up again. But where is he? There's this place in America where something from space struck the Earth and around it, as you see, everything is changing. Take a look for yourself. Let me see him. He's extremely ill. You have to tell me where he was, what he was doing. It was his decision to go in. It's something they termed the shimmer. We've sent in drones and teams of people, but nothing comes back. And so they decide to send in a team of women. And so you have Jennifer Jason Lee as the commander and psychologist there. She decides, you know, we have to keep going in, figuring out what happened to the husband, what's at the center of this phenomenon. Quite the team besides uh, Jennifer Jason Lee, Tessa Thompson, rising star. Maybe you saw her in Thor Ragnarok. And then Gina Rodriguez, you might know her from Jane the Virgin. Quite the performance from her as a paramedic and uh, in they go to the shimmer. <laughs> Which I would watch with my eyes totally covered. But how would you classify this? Sci-fi or is it horror? Yes and yes. Um, you know, it's interesting in that they go inside this area and they're disoriented and there's this giant, it's like a soap bottle, this, this gelatinous soap bubble. But inside you can see nature is changing. It's being rewritten at the basic building blocks of the DNA. And as you can see, I mean, it's eerie but enchanting. It's beautiful, but this beauty has a bite. Take a look, if you can. <laughs> oh, what? Something's come through the fence. Through the fence? I can't see anything. Yeah, neither can I. What's going on? So oh, there you go. That's my little warning that it is intense. It's even intellectually stimulating. It's also briefly terrifying. So mm -hmm. uh, that's Annihilation. Yeah, my popcorn would be flying at the person behind me. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this film for? I mean, I think it's for fans of cerebral sci-fi. This is for fans that don't mind being challenged and want a movie that doesn't explain everything. So you think of 2001, you think of Arrival. Uh, what I like about this is that it pushes the audience and mm -hmm. it doesn't reveal everything instantly. I'll tell you who this isn't for. This isn't for the, but what about friend? You know the friend that says, yeah, but what about the thing when he was wearing the shoe? But what about that time when the song was, those people should stay home because what's gonna happen? There's an event in this movie where it takes a leap in terms of storytelling and and, and actually imagination. And that's, that moment will leave some people behind, but for me, it was Nirvana. That's what I want. I want ambition, I want audacious, I want bold and beautiful and weird and wonderful. And this movie delivers on all those layers if you can follow it. I want to the all end. the answers. So what's the answer to how, <laughs> yeah. how many stars nope. you give it? Nope. Four and a half stars out of five. Excellent, thank you, Eli. You're welcome.